Hey everyone, my name is Chris Todd and I'm here with Leanne Hill, who's our preschool director, and we just wanted to take a second and walk through the lesson for the preschoolers and then maybe do a craft together. So I wanted to ask you, Leanne, what is the lesson about for today? So um, God's perfect timing, right? Jesus raises Lazarus from the dead and our Bible point is Jesus gives us hope. Jesus gives us hope. Yeah. No way. That awesome. So, okay, so <clears throat> with Jesus giving us hope, and I wanna, uh, we met, we talked about this earlier, but read the part about the adults okay. and how the difference between kids having hope and adults okay. having hope. So, um, young children live in a state of joyful anticipation and expectation of the world around them. And so, as adults, it's easy to forget mm -hmm. optimism. But when we focus on leading young children, it's important to embrace their hopefulness as our own. So little ones understand that the source of all our hope is in Jesus. Children mimic the adults around them in their speech, their, their behavior, and their attitudes. In fact, kids' enthusiasm is often a direct reflection of the adults they're with. So when you talk about Jesus, convey the hope he gives you personally. Be expressive and demonstrate your reverence for Jesus. Children may not understand yeah. everything right now, but you'll be building for kids a foundation of hope in Jesus. That is so good. And what, in, what like as you were saying, God's timing is perfect for this. So uh, with this lesson, uh, make sure you guys as parents at home with your kids, walk through the lesson, read the Bible verses, explain this, and then we have a little craft at the end that's gonna be attached to uh, the bottom of this video as you guys watch this. And so make sure to click on that. You can look at the PDF. So let's do the craft. So what's the craft today? So it's called Spoon Faces. Okay. And we, <laughs> okay. Are, we have um, a picture of Lazarus. We've never done a craft together, by the way. It's gonna uh, be our first. A preschool craft. So we have uh, pictures of Lazarus with his eyes open and his eyes closed. Ooh, so okay. super simple. All you need is a pair of scissors, the printout, and you're just gonna cut those out real quick. They don't have to be perfect. Just little round circles here and she doesn't trust me with the scissors because well, I'm well you know he's left-handed so so it's not, fine it's, be it's fine okay so you can tape it to the spoon for okay me. how's that so and if people don't have tape what's another way to you could do it um use and glue you... dots or a glue stick am and... i putting it in the back or in the front on the back this? okay no on the other side on the round okay side. i got you i got you and so even if you didn't I have if for some reason you know you're quarantined and you don't have plastic spoons use a real spoon the tape will come off the glue will come off it's not going to be oh that's smart i didn't so, even think about that we only have i at my house i only have plastic everything because i never want to wash anything <laughs> <laughs> well plastic everything's probably getting hard to find right now so you may have to use a real spoon okay so there we have our lazarus face spoons right so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the kids, um, you're gonna tell them that Lazarus got very sick and he died. And so you're gonna use the picture of the eyes closed, right? And um, then you're gonna say, then Jesus called Lazarus and Lazarus opened his eyes. And you're gonna hold the one with the eyes open. Ooh. And then there's a little game that you can play. So you've got both of them. I'll let you do both of them. Okay. So this is closed, this is open, right? Closed, open. So you're gonna ask the children to point to the eyes closed. Um, the Lazarus with his eyes closed. Okay, um, so then they'll, they'll point and then I take one away, right? Right, so let's call Lazarus' name just like Jesus did. So you're gonna go, you're gonna tell your kids to say, Lazarus, just like Jesus did. So we're So ready? he's still, okay. So he's asleep yeah. and we're gonna call him and then he's gonna wake up. So Lazarus, and then he's awake. So Lazarus opened his eyes when Jesus called him. I might him. hide it too. Yep, you could do that. Can you find Lazarus with his eyes open? You're gonna ask the kids. And then you're going to give the child child time to open to, uh, to point to the open faced, um, open eyed face spoon. And then Lazarus was happy, obviously, because um, he was awake. You know, Jesus brought him back to life, so yeah. he was happy. So um, he might have walked and he might have danced around. So make your spoon kind of dance around, like you know, he's elated that he's alive. <laughs> and then <clears throat> um, Lazarus was happy that Jesus called his name. He was happy to be alive. Jesus gave Lazarus hope. Jesus gives, gives us hope. hope. Jesus gives us hope. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. That's so. super easy to do. That yeah. no, takes like And you probably have all the supplies right at home, so yeah. yeah. Not not um not hard to do at all and that'll be all in the lesson and then we've got the um, take home pages that your kids would normally take home after church on Sunday that's also got some great ideas in it as well. You know so. what we should do also if you want to make this craft a little bit hard, 
is attach like little salt shakers and then tape that and make a maracas. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has always got it. it up. <laughs> I'm just saying, adds craft time for the kids like by 20 minutes. So that's yeah, perfect. I'm sure the parents are going to be wanting to add a little bit of time to that. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this and post some responses. See if you guys are doing this at your houses and and what the kids' reactions are. We would love to see some of these posted on Facebook or anywhere on our web, a church website or anything like yeah. that. That'd be awesome. And but. hey, I just have something to say. Miss Lee Ann cannot wait till all <laughs> your cute little faces are back in my office digging through the candy basket. I can. Hope to see you soon. Because they're not getting candy, that means I can. No, I'm saving it all for them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>